How is this for a location? I've just been dropped here by a boat. On this one rock in the middle of the ocean, there's another rock over there. Other than that, nothing but ocean for miles. Staying here tonight, we've got all the gear to camp, lots of fishing gear. We're gonna run up the top, check out the view, figure out where we're gonna fish. Got to catch some dinner. This is going to be next level. This is amazing. Getting ashore was bloody scary. Swimming in with a backpack and a rope, and the boat didn't want to come in. I had about 60 meters of rope, but there's a little boat it was getting splashing over the back, so they sat out a bit further and they had to throw the barrel over before I was ashore. So everything's in the ocean behind me while I'm swimming against the wave. Grabbed the barnies, scrambled up. It was hectic. Anyway, let's run up the hill. Let's check out the view. Let's see if there's a flat spot to camp up here. Otherwise I'll be camping down there. Oh hell yeah. I can camp up the top here. Alright, finally ready. I'm gonna throw the medium outfit first. Got a plaque here on there, 50 pound TAS line. All details of what I'm using is always in the video description anyway if you want to check it out. Heaps of pezzas. Just wondering if we're gonna end up with some tuna or some kingies. Would be amazing if they show up. Man, the mozzies are thick and I brought no air guard. Alright, let's go. I got no idea of depth, anything. I've never fished out here. Never even been out here in a boat before. Uh, until today, first time out here in a boat and a jump aboard, jump ashore. This spot is incredible. But uh, I reckon we're gonna be on some good fish out here. Do I have a fish? Straight to the bottom and onto a fish immediately. Yep. I was like, is that reef? No, that's a fish. He probably ate it on the sink. It's not even too bad a fish too. No, that's like a big break sea. Big break sea, I thought it was a hully pussy. First cast, that could be a PB. That's a huge break sea. How's that? Very first cast and a ripper break sea cod. He's probably pushing close to a PB for me. My biggest is a couple of trips ago, 46 or something. I haven't cracked a 50 yet, land base. I don't know if this guy would do it, but it's in the 40s anyway. It's a really good eating fish. Can't believe it, first cast. Go another cast. I think I should catch some herring and I might even, I'll keep a few as bait and I might even send one out live. Um, I do have a slide bait rig with me. Alright, let's get... Let's get something to catch some hezzers. They're chasing it like little torpedoes, eh? They are hungry little things. Well, there's a crab there. Come on. Oh, I'm off. There we go. Oh man, they just get off so easy. Come on. Yes, we have a Hezza, that's a big one. Now we're ready. So what I've done is I've just taken assist hooks off of a small jig, put a little piece of herring on it. All right, go on. Just sort of got to set the hook a bit, that's a better one. Time to try some bait. <sighs> Seems to be getting some bites. 
I'm just waiting for it to really hit it though, and then I'll strike. Yep, that's something. Feels like a wobby. Oh, maybe not. Be a Jew fish, come on. Be a Jew. Can't tell what it is yet. It does feel like a wobby. A lot. Oh, I hope not. Yeah, wobby going straight. These things are annoying, but bring them up. There we go. Uh, these things are a bit of a pain. They are edible. I don't like eating them. I don't like shark full stop. We'll release him. Bit of a belly flop. And away you go. It's only about four meters high here. Should be fine. Yep, come on. <clears throat> Not very big, but I'm fishing heavy gear. Yeah, breaks the cod. Nice. It's another good fish. Whoa! That was a groper chasing that in. Oh yeah, come on. Splashes and comes from both sides. Yep, yeah, that's a groper. I'd say so anyway. Not a very big one. Whoa, I did not see that coming at all. How's this spot? Just got drenched the entire rock as I hook up. I don't know where my fish is. And everything is slippery. Let's see, we still got him, he's still on. Oh yeah. Just a little one. That's a little, that's perfect size to eat. One of the smallest croakers I've ever caught, to be honest. Oh, oh I can't believe that wave. There we go. Perfect size little eater groper. And how's that wave? I think it was swell coming from this way wrap around come from the other way they collided right in front of me and just boof over my head i got drenched it's a bit scary but um it didn't have any force behind it. it wasn't like a big surging wave but um all the rocks went so slippery after that i probably will sit back and relax for a little while now dry myself out and uh figure out where we want to camp up the top might lug some gear up there or something like that just gonna lug a barrel up to the top of the hill once we're up there, we'll leave it up there. Figure out where we're going to camp. And probably come down and fish a bit more. I might try fishing there. I might even try fishing out the back. I don't know. Let's take this up there. I think we found our camp. I think I'm going to camp just there. But every time I come up here, it's only the second time I've been up here. I'm just like, wow. This spot is next level. Um, Hopefully we can fish off the tip tomorrow. Make the run over there with some rope and anchor myself in. But it needs to get calmer. All right, I think it's about time we got these fish filleted. The break sea cod went 47, which is, I think it matches my personal best possibly. Bag them up. We'll chuck these in the cooler bag. 
nice and cool and fresh, ready for dinner. Not that I'm going to eat them all. I'll probably just ate the little one. So I'm going to chuck a line in the water again for a little while. Let's fish for another hour, and then we'll head up, I reckon, and make camp. Let's see how deep it is out there. Come up the top, we're going to throw the tent up. Just here, I got some rocks to set that I collected, um, and then we'll get dinner on. my sleeping stuff. Sleeping bag, mattress, everything in there. Drone obviously. How good is this? I'll get my mattress out later. Oh, there's my view. This is going to be awesome. I'll um, get some fish ready and I'll start cooking. I've been absolutely swarmed by mozzies all day. So this will be a nice little break tonight. Hopefully they don't get too bad while I am cooking. But anyway, let's go cook. No firewood, so we're on the gas burner again. Woo! Blazing. A little bit windy, but not too bad. That's the seasoning I'm using. That's probably about done. How good does that look? That's my dinner. We got break sea cod, some salad, some tomato stuff, and a bit of and a bit of spicy sriracha. I mean, cupy, not sriracha. My mistake. Get that on there. Bit of spice. And what a spot to sit back and eat dinner. Mate, next level. Mm. That's so good. Man, that was amazing. Hopefully you don't have any green stuff stuck all over my teeth. I'm gonna sit back, enjoy the view, get a good night's sleep. See you guys in the morning, eh? Time we get up. Sun is just poking its head up, I think. Mozzies are all sitting around waiting. And I've got a mozzie in here. I've got four hours to fish before I get picked up. We're going to go try a new ledge. I actually tried it yesterday um, after I had dinner and got nothing. But um, we'll go give it another shot. It's just down behind camp here. That's a fish. There we go. Oh, I don't know what this would be. Oh, it's running around the corner there. 
I need him to come back. Come on, come on. What is it? It's a griper. Of course it is. Oh, those barnies are sharp down there. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, I was getting ready to send the cliff gaff down. Busted me. That's a fish. Oh, I hope it's not just another groper. But feels a lot like it. Oh, it's running that way. Come on. Oh, what is that? Yeah, it's a groper. I saw his tail. Alright. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. I don't know if we can land him, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, oh. come on. Lead him back over this way. Oh, what happened? Put hooks. Oh, well. good for him. He got away. Oh, uh, I'm done. Run out of bait. Lost two groper and not getting any hits on the placky. So I'm going to pack up, and start getting ready for my departure. All right, we are all packed up, ready to go. We got my bag there. The black dry bag's not that dry anymore, so I've got a second one in it. And just a few little bits and pieces, like the GoPro, for example, will go in there. My lid down there, so I don't smack my head on a rock. Probably not so important on the way out as it was on the way in. Ready? Sweet ass. She's a bit slippery. <laughs> if you guys want to move around, that's fine. Yes! 